That's not you too. Oh, excuse me. Um, let me take this plug out real quick. I have my phone on the charger. But I wanted to make this quick video because I had some interesting conversations um, today with some friends and family and um, I think this might be an important topic and this topic is about forgiveness um, I had a conversation with a particular friend about a situation that's going on with her and I was explaining to her that with any type of before any type of healing can begin you must first forgive the person that you feel has caused the hurt and the pain because without forgiveness there is no true healing um, because you are still holding on to the hurt the anguish and the pain so if you don't forgive the person and allow yourself to let go then how can you move into your future how can you step into your next avenue when you carry in that kind of baggage um, I'm, I mean no harm when I tell her that because I speak from a place of love I would never tell someone something if I had never gone through it myself um, because I recently went through some things where I had to learn forgiveness and until I learned how to forgive my life was in this vicious circle the circle that I felt like I could never get out of this circle that I felt like I had been in this circle so long that I was becoming dizzy. I was becoming I was becoming somebody I didn't want to be. But when you hold on to something for so long, the only person that it damages is you. It doesn't damage the person that you're angry with. It doesn't destroy the person that you're mad with. It don't affect them at all. It affects you. It hurts you. It hurts everything about you. So, why hold on to the hurt, the anger, and the pain when it's so much easier to forgive and say that I forgive you and let the past be the past so that you can step into your future and be a better you? Um, and I had to learn that forgiveness is not for the other person. It's not. Forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness is so that you can have peace of mind. Forgiveness is so that you can close your eyes at night and you can sleep well. Forgiveness is for you to be able to say that what you did to me didn't break me. Forgiveness is for you to have a sense of self and a sense of self-worth. And forgiveness you have to forgive before the Lord can forgive you. And you can't say that you didn't play a part in what happened to you because you did. There were choices that you made that led to what happened. Whether you, you believe that or not, there are choices that you made. Because they, everything in life is a choice. Everything. And, and I can't stand when people say, well, I didn't choose this. Well, actually, yes, you did. <laughs> everything in life is a choice. Um, and the thing is that everybody makes mistakes, but the one thing that we cannot do is continue to hold those mistakes over people. If you, how, how do I put this? Um, my situation, for example, 
I was really angry and had become resentful of my mother because of everything I had been through with my mom. Like, I've been taking care of my mom since I was seven years old, y'all, and I am 37, I'm actually 38 years old. So, for the past 30 years, 30, 31 years, I've been taking care of my mama. And it had gotten to the point where I felt like I had no life. Because every time I would start out in life and try to find my path in life, I was right back taking care of my mother. It's like I went into the military. I spent six years in the military, came back home, and it was right back to business as usual, taking care of my mother. I moved out on my own, um, and then it was right back to taking care of, take, take care of my mother. Then I uh, got pregnant with my daughter, and even while I was pregnant, I was taking care of my mom and daddy, running up and down the road, even though the doctor had told me, you know, you need to be on bed rest. Because I, I had a lot of stuff going on while I was pregnant. Like, I was bleeding while I was pregnant. Um, and I was, I was in one of those situations, like, if I didn't sit my behind down, I was going to lose my baby. But guess what? I was running back and forth between where I was living and to my mom. Taking my mom and daddy where they needed to go. Take, doing this for my mama. Doing, doing that for my mama. And it felt like I had no life of my own. And it got to the point where I absolutely hated my mom. I hated her because I feel like I could never get away from her. And and it's like I've always had to be the adult. My mother had never had to be the adult because I was always taking care of her like she was my child. Um, and I never got the opportunity to be a child when I wanted to be a child. Um, and for 30 years, I, I was angry for 30 years. And rightfully so, because, you know, I felt like my childhood was snatched away from me. Um, but I had to understand, my mom got sick when I was seven, when I was around six or seven years old. And my mother's been sick, sick ever since then. And even though I was put into a situation that I wasn't ready for, I had to remember that none of this was my none of this was anything that my mother could control. And instead of continuing to hold on to it, because when I tell y'all it was causing problems in my marriage, it was causing problems in my home, all this anger and hurt, like I was taking my anger out on my husband. Like, it got to the point where me and my husband almost got a divorce. He had, he had gotten to the point where he, he had cheated on me. And, like, it was ripping my, my family apart. It was ripping my family apart. And I said, you know what? I won't accept this in my life anymore. I had went outside one day, and I was just screaming and crying and, and asking, God, why why you do this to me? Why did you do this to me? And why why is it that everybody else's life is moving forward and my life is still in the same place? Why is my life still in the same place? Why haven't I been able to do the things I wanted to do with my life? Like, why, why am I just stuck? Why do I feel stuck? Why am I always the one having to deal with this and having to deal with that? And his answer was so simple. And his answer was so clear. He said, I had to learn how to forgive. Like, no joke, the very day that I was crying and I was screaming at God, he gave me an answer. That same day, because when I tell y'all I was at my wit's end, I was, I was feeling like I wanted to take my own life. Which, I've actually tried to take my own life several times. Um... But this one particular time, I felt like I was at my wit's end, and I was feeling those same feelings again. 
those same depressive feelings of wanting to take my life again. And he said, you have to forgive. And I was like, but I don't want to. I don't want to forgive. Why do I have to forgive? Why should I forgive someone who doesn't feel like they did anything wrong? And it's simple. If you want the pain to stop, if you want a sense of who you are and a sense, and a sense of just being happy, you got to forgive. You have to forgive. And the day that I, I um chose to forgive my mom, we were in the car and we had to go take care of some stuff for my daddy. And I said, you know what, mama? I want to talk to you about something. And I said, I hate you. I hate you for everything you did to me. I hate you because the hurt that you went that that you felt in your heart, you took it out on me. And and I had nothing to do with what caused the hurt that you feel. And I feel that it was unfair for you to treat your child the way that you treated your child. Any of your children, because I wasn't the only one that she treated the way that she treated. But I was like, I, I, I hate you for it all. I hate you for it all. But I'm at a point in my life right now where enough is enough and I have to stop hating you. I have to let it go. And for that, for those reasons, I love you and I'm sorry for how I feel, but I forgive you. I completely, utterly, and totally forgive you. And she understood where where I was coming from, and she told me she was sorry. And that's all I ever wanted. My mom mom told me she was sorry. Um, And she explained to me where all that hurt and pain in her comes from. And I was like, you know what, Mom? But that's that's something that we cannot choose to pass on to our children. And that's something that I choose not to pass on to my little girl. I do not choose to to pass on all of that hurt and anger and pain to my little girl. I choose to be happy. And I choose to be who God wants me to be, what God needs me to be, and what God sees in me to be. But true healing and true happiness starts with forgiveness. And when I chose to forgive my mom, my relationship with my husband completely did a 180. It changed. Like literally overnight. Um, my daughter was, had gotten to the point where she was cutting up. She quit. She wasn't getting in trouble in school anymore. Like all of the negative energy was just gone. It was gone. Like I have a closer relationship with my husband. Me and my husband have gotten so close now, it's ridiculous. Like, we used to argue, fuss and fight all the time, but we don't do that no more. We don't argue no more. We don't fuss no more. We don't fight about nothing no more. Um, If I tell my husband, well, baby, what you said hurt my feelings. You know, he'll say he'll so- he's sorry. And he's like, well, you know, it was never my intention to hurt your feelings. I just wanted you to understand A, B, C, and D. And we leave it at that. Like, I I chose I even chose I for, I forgave my husband after 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 he cheated. And I know most women will say, "Oh, I wouldn't try. I wouldn't. I wouldn't forgive him for that." And blah blah blah. But you know what? I know why he did it, and I understand why he did it. I played a part in why he did it, and it was it was a mistake that he made that he hasn't made since. And I choose not to hold that over his head. I choose to let the past be the past because I trust and believe in God and I trust in in a God that doesn't lie, a God that doesn't fail, a God that is perfect. And if you ask, he'll give you the answer. And at no time, did God ever tell me that I needed to leave my husband? 
God talks to us all the time. We just we just choose not to listen. But at this point and at this time of my life, I choose to listen. Now, had the situation, had I felt that the situation warranted me leaving, I would have walked away from my husband and I never would have looked back. But that just wasn't in the cards for me. I chose to forgive because it was an honest mistake that he made. I choose to forgive my mother because she just didn't know any better. And I choose to forgive the people around me that caused the caused so much hurt and pain in my life growing up. Like my grandmother, my aunts, and, and the people that made me feel like I was less than growing up. I choose to forgive them because I need the Lord to forgive me. I need him to forgive me for not allowing myself to be better. For not allowing myself to do better. And for not allowing myself to just let it go. Does it? Did it hurt? Yes, it did hurt. It hurt like hell. But when I forgave, my headache stopped. When I forgave, the sickness in my belly stopped. When I forgave, all of the things I had been feeling stopped. The stress was gone. The pressure was gone. The sickness was gone. Everything was gone. When I forgave, my situation changed. When I forgave, my relationship changed. When I forgave, my daughter changed. When I forgave, everything changed. And life for me has changed. Everything has changed for me. And I'll take that change any day over being miserable and unhappy. So forgiveness is everything. You cannot have true healing you cannot have understanding. You cannot have peace without first forgiving. And the Bible says, and I believe it's Ephesians, we love because he first loved us. And it's that simple. I choose love. I choose forgiveness. I choose happiness. I choose positivity. I choose God. And that's all there is to it. So understand, y'all, you got to forgive. You have to forgive. You can't hold on to the hurt and the pain. You can't do it. I know it's hard. I know that in, in your mind, the same way it was in my mind, you want these people to understand what they did to you. But you know what? Sometimes you may not get it. I'm sorry. Sometimes you may not even, even get a, I acknowledge that I did something to you. You may not ever get that. And my sister told me that. My sister told me you may not ever get an I'm sorry from mama and you have to be okay with that. And you know what? You got to be okay with it. If the person does not acknowledge that what they did caused you pain, you have to be okay with that. And you still have to forgive. And you have to move on. Leave the past in the past so that you can heal so that you can be a better person so that you can have a better life so that you can have everything that you ever dreamed of in your life but it starts with forgiveness now I don't know if anybody is, is, gonna, is gonna get this message but if I can only reach one person that's the one person God wanted me to reach and I did the job he wanted me to do. So remember, happiness starts with forgiveness, y'all. Y'all be good.